Good morning, everyone. Sister Candace, growing in grace. I hope you had a good night's rest. Um, I slept pretty good. I really did. Um, today's a lot better than yesterday, and I praise the Lord in His holy name for that. Um, my devotional today, or our devotional today, and like I say, it comes from our new devotional book that I got it from uh, Amazon. I'm loving it, y'all. Um, I always read and go over the devotional before I ever uh, record it. Um, spend time with the Lord. Um, and then when I, I record, I just shoot from the hip after I read the devotional and the scripture and uh, pray to be led by the Holy Spirit and pray that this goes out to someone who needs it. And I admire the ones who do put in the comments that this was for you or you got this from it. I appreciate it so, so much. You don't know how much that it encourages me. And I did hit 2,700 overnight and I did hit 200,000 views. It's 200 and something now. Thank y'all. First and foremost, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for uh, anointing this channel, for the anointing on my life. Um, just try. I just try to be a blessing and let my light so shine before men that they may see my good works and I may glorify my Father which is in heaven. That's not how it goes. But it, it does say, um, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. My devotional today is entitled, The Goodness of Jesus Christ. And it comes from Luke 1, 30 through 33. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. When Gabriel came to Mary and announced that she would be chosen by God to give birth to the Messiah, she was bringing news that she completely upended her life. This young woman espoused to be married to Joseph was going to have a baby even though she was a virgin. She certainly knew that a few people, if any, would believe she remained pure. Yet Mary accepted her place in God's plan willingly, despite the unheaval in it would bring to her life. Her focus was in the same place God's focus was, on the Savior who would be born through her. There are a lot of things I love about Christmas season and the way we celebrate. I'm sure that like your family, your traditions has shot is shopping, giving gifts, singing carols, attending special church services, and more. These things are what we expect and enjoy during the holidays, but nothing should ever allow to take the primary focus of anything we do away from Jesus. Just as cr Christmas for Mary was not primary about the hardship or upending her plans, it shouldn't not be for us about the busyness or the challenges of this special season. Years ago, a popular bumper sticker said, Jesus is the reason for the season. The focus of Gabriel's message to Mary was not on about being the mother of Jesus, what it would mean to her, but on who Jesus is. He, both, he is both the Savior and the ruler of the world. And though he has not yet come to rule the earth, that is his promise, just as sure as his first coming. Today's growth principle says, Never let anything that comes along with Christmas obs obscure your focus of Jesus the Savior. And I want to point out right here, and I'm not trying to, um, to hurt anyone's feelings or say that I know more than anybody because I don't. I, I, I'm the least. Um... But I would like for y'all to focus on, 
I don't, let me see if y'all can see it. Well, do you see how Savior is spelt? Let me back it up. I hope y'all can see it. A lot of people do not know that Savior is actually spelled S-A-V-I-O-U-R. And that's because he is our Savior. You know, he is he is uh, the uh, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he 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 reigns on high. He's making intercession for me and you. Um, but I I had a feeling this is December first. I had a feeling that that's what the whole month of December will be about. It's probably going to be about our Lord and Savior and His birth. Um, and I pray that y'all are excited just as I am to go through this month and just to reflect on that Jesus is the only reason for for Christmas. Um, if it wasn't for him and God sending him and him being born of a virgin, we would have no hope. As I had yes said yesterday, we would have no hope at all. Our hope would be gone. Um, but he is that blessed hope. And I'm so thankful that God seen fit to send his only son to be born in a manger and and to go on and go to Calvary for you and me. May we reflect on Christmas and what it's about, and it's about Christ, and it should be centered around him. I love it when, you know, we do the singing, the songs at church, you know, that that's what they're about is the birth of our Savior. May we remember it every day of the year, y'all. May we reflect and know that if it wasn't for God sending His only begotten Son, um, there would be no hope. And I'm thankful that He is our blessed hope. I love y'all. I'm praying for you. But remember, the Lord loves you so, so much more.